Here's a great expression of entrepreneurial spirits. The food Hannah and Seema are preparing will be sold at Christmas markets. They source almost all of this from within a few kilometres of this house. Their business helps sustain the farmers and the locals who will eat it sustain them. I think that a high street that has lots of independent businesses is a much more interesting place to be. It's a stronger and more resilient business model for a town. Um, and I think the, the, the flavour is better. A few doors down is Rupert's successful independent record shop. Successful, that is, despite the best efforts of the internet giant Amazon, which undercuts him. Rupert doesn't think much of Amazon or its attitude to music and taxation. They carry exactly the same stock. They've got the ability to carry whatever they choose. And I think a lot of people talk about the tax ramifications of Amazon, but I think that for, for me personally, the biggest problem I've got with them, in the same way that I have with the supermarkets, is that they have absolutely no passion about what they're selling and they've got no inclination to sell music to music fans. They're using it as a commodity. And I think particularly with music, they're looking to devalue the market. So this is Totnes, population just 8,000, full of independent traders, almost entirely free of large corporates. A place which insists that running a business isn't only about making money, it's also doing it for the good of the community. There's so much public anger now in this country about things like tax avoidance and corporate misbehaviour that even this most business-minded of governments has promised to do something about it. It's even going to be the focus of next year's G8 summit, which Britain is hosting in Northern Ireland. Yet here, of course, they don't have to worry about things like that at all because there aren't any multinationals here. What the business model of this place represents is a rejection of all that. One coffee chain tried to set up in this space, but there was sufficient public anger that the company decided not to bother. Instead, it's become a home to a leather goods maker and a collective of artists. All small traders who pay tax to government, but who have helped create an economy which supports itself. Independence is a fundamental quality of resilience, um, the diversity that you get within that, um, and the fact that you're a little bit more your own master. None of which is to say Totnes is immune from problems or that its model of sustainability can be repeated everywhere. But pockets of many much bigger cities are doing similar things, bypassing globalisation in favour of more local solutions. And here at least is a happy community, and in angry Britain, that's very rare indeed. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Totnes, Western England.